Bob Rose was also being lauded in the bush today at the Wangaratta Rovers, the team he took to premierships in 58 and 60. The type of footballer he was was uh, the type of footballer that Collingwood loves. He was a, he was a hard player. Champion, one of the best Collingwood's ever had, and that's saying a lot because we've had some great players. We probably understand even more now that when we put on the Guernsey, we we put it on for the, the past greats, and in particular Bobby. From his early childhood, Robert Rose showed fighting qualities. It was later displayed on the football field in three seasons with Collingwood, and then with the Bulldogs, where Father Bob was coach. As a cricketer, he faced the likes of Dennis Lilly in 40 shield innings for Victoria, including an unbeaten century against Queensland. There's Mackenzie to Rose. And Rose with a strong pass is going to find Tuddenham. Oh, his kicking's good, uh, young Rose. To Rose, the coach's son. Looks for McKenna. Oh, Dean. Dean it is this time. This one's up towards the centre wing, up they go, the ball picked up and kicked by Max Richardson, not effectively, Atkinson took it, got it out there, and the ball driven further forward by Robert Rose, up towards Tottenham, swings round, looks for McKenna, McKenna in front position wall, too far behind, and McKenna takes the mark in the forward pocket. Bob Skilton, right, uh, up, up by Shields, bounces the ball, McKellar almost gets the knock, but not cleanly, Max Richardson comes over the top, knocks it down where Robert Rose gets it, gets it off the ground, on towards Graham Bond, Bond to Rose now, and he rose for the ball. Both players have plenty of speed. It's one by Bond. He swings around onto the left foot. Puts it right down to the pocket. It's a kick downfield, though. Leach kicks that ball out now. Max Richardson in the van. It's Barry Price who comes out. Price hand pass over to Robert Rose. He steadies. Kicks a long kick right in towards Bond. Right. It's a good kick. Tragically, a car accident just after his 22nd birthday ended it all. Robert, a quadriplegic and confined to a wheelchair, but still taking more than a keen interest in all sports. He's never grizzled, he's never complained. Occasionally he'd be downhearted, but he, he would get on top of it and, and he's just been an absolute marvel. That bond between father and son was never more apparent when Rose Sr was named Father of the Year, in honour of which both were proud. We've been so close right through my life, with, uh, all having the same sort of interests, football and cricket.